All right, welcome back to another video. We are in the Open Grey League here. Um, we're going to be featuring a team that is uh, basically an ABB team. We have the uh, Cresselia with the Diggersby and Vigoroth here. The, the, the Diggersby is trying to draw out many champs. That's pretty much the, the goal of it. Um, because the Cresselia has a great matchup against the uh, many champs. So we do switch out. We do get met with the Golosopod. This Golosopod is able to um, throw super effective liquidations. One liquidation doesn't quite KO. But um, it is able to get to another move relatively quickly. We did get a shield out of that situation. So we're actually kind of happy about that. Because we did get um, the objective of Diggersby either to get the shield or to draw out Medicham. So... We're going to come in with our Cresselia. This Cresselia is going to be able to throw a Moonblast. Doesn't quite KO. But we're going to put everything on the line with the Vigoroth. So this is a great farm down. Okay, it doesn't they don't allow us to farm down. And unfortunately for us, ends up being the Jellison. This Jellison in the back is a neutral-ish matchup. It's not doing super effective damage with this fast moves. Um... And we're not doing super effective damage with our fast moves. But we do have a shield advantage. Unfortunately, these bulldogs just are not doing enough damage. So we eventually have to shield. We're going to go for this bulldogs here. This bulldogs still would not KO. So really good recognition by my opponent right there. They're still going for these serves. And now... Unfortunately for us, because we have no shields, uh, they're going to be able to get to one Ice Punch there and take us out. So, a little bit unfortunate. We were trying to fish out many Chems, but many Chems was nowhere to be found in that last game. But we're going to move on to the next one here. We're going to be face we're going to be facing the Diggersby. Diggersby uh, versus the Cresselia is um, kind of good. I think. I think they switched into their Sableye. We come in with our Diggersby. This Diggersby is going to be able to um, resist the fast moves of, of Sableye. But we are tanking these foul plays. We did already get a shield, which is fantastic. These Scorching Sands do a good chunk of damage. I would say 50%. Luckily for us, we were able to get the debuff. So not only do we get a shield, but we force them to switch back out. And then now we're going to come back in with our Cresselia. This Cresselia is going to be able to get to multiple Grass Knots. Unfortunately for us, we get debuffed. So that's kind of good and kind of bad. It allows our Cresselia to um, farm up a little bit more energy. So we're going to be able to go, we're going to throw this grass on here to barely not take out that Digger's Bee. Here we're going to throw a Grass Knot and then we're going to snipe the energy with our Vigoroth. So now they have to wait because they have a uh, switch lock. Now we have the, cl the classic Vigoroth versus um, Cresselia matchup here. This Cresselia decides to go for the Grass Knot. We still have two shields to use, so we were saving these shields for the backline here. They try to catch a move right there. Unfortunately for them, we were going to over farm anyways. And so we're now just going to throw a bunch of these body slams back at this Cresselia. And we're going to throw um, this next body slam here and hope it KOs. If it doesn't, uh, we should be able to just shield. So GG's to our opponent right there. We were able to squeak that win. Um, they ended up having the Cresselia and Diggersby. So we had two of the same Pokemon. The difference maker being we have Vigoroth, but they had the Sableye. The Sableye, unfortunately, could not flip the switch. So um, we were able to regain that advantage when they decided to switch back in. Here we have to switch out. Not a great matchup for the Cresselia. We're bringing in the Diggersby. We're trying to draw out some kind of fighter. They decide to bring in their 
um, or they decide to throw a breaking swipe first to debuff us, and then they come in with their Azumarill. Here, we do go for the uh, No Shield, ends up being the Hydro Pump. So we aren't able to catch them um, baiting on us or anything. We thought that they might would have baited because they did debuff us, but they ended up going for the Hydro Pump, which is fine. They actually go for another Hydro Pump, but we were always going to have to tank one move no matter what. So we're, we're, we're okay with that. Here we decide to go for um, a little bit of an undercharge and then go for a Grass Knight to KO. Probably not the cleanest way to deal that with that matchup, but we do get met with a Deoxys in the back versus our Vigoroth, so not the, not the right Pokemon we want to see in the back. Kind of heads up play by my opponent on not coming in with their Deoxys versus our Diggersby. Otherwise, this Vigoroth versus the Azumarill might have had a chance to win. But now they have the advantage because uh, not only do they have counter as their fast move, but this Deoxys is quite tanky. Alright, so GG's to our opponent right there. Not much we could have done right there, honestly. Maybe if we had gotten... Um, them to come in with their Deoxys, we would have had a chance. Here we have a great matchup. We're expecting them to switch out. They come in with their Lickitung. This Lickitung is going to be met with our Vigoroth. The Vigoroth is able to get a Body Slam off. So it is kind of like the reverse situation. Last time, um, we had a Pokemon that was doing super effective fast moves to us. This time, we're doing super effective to them, but it's a tanky Pokemon, so... We're going to risk it and go for the farm down. We do get the farm down, which is fantastic. And now we have a ton of energy to throw at this lantern. So we're going to throw this bulldoze without hesitation. We're watching our health very closely. We are not able to get to another bulldoze. So we're just going to go for this body slam. Our opponent correctly not, no, no shields it. Then they switch into their Venusaur. This Venusaur is going to be able to get a move off before we do. So we shield the first one. And then here we're going to quote-unquote bait with the Scorching Sands. Um, oh, and we do get the debuff right there, which is huge, because now we don't have to shield the second one. And we're going to try our best to get to a Hyper Beam here. We don't think we can get to the Hyper Beam, so we just go for another Scorching Sands, and we are able to get to another... Uh, we are able to get another shield from our opponent. Our opponent ends up deciding to switch out to get rid of their debuff, but then it allows us to potentially farm down this Lantern, which is, is exactly what we do. So now we're at 100 energy. We can throw this Moonblast at this Venusaur. It does not KO, but we do have a shield. And then the ensuing um, Psycho Cuts should be enough to KO this Venusaur. So GG's to our opponent right there. Well played by us in just managing the energy um, towards the end right there. And so let's see if we can end off on a really good note. And let's see if we can end up on a... Uh, positive set here. It looks like we are met with the Manting here. This is kind of a neutral matchup. Our opponent tries to throw on CMP right there, so um, we're going to be throwing on Weird Time uh, because we don't necessarily want to switch, but they also don't necessarily want to switch either. So you can see here, our opponent has been trying their best to kind of like CMP and tie CMP tie our moves. Um, always throwing when we get to the moon blast. And then here they try to throw another arrow ace right when we had the move. But fortunately for us, we over farmed. And then not only did we over farm, but we were able to farm down that manting. So we immediately switch out. We are met with the chestnut here. This chestnut is going to have to shield or risk losing their chestnut. So that is job well done by the Diggersby. Um, we know that this Chestnut is going to have to probably shield. So we're going to go for this Moonblast here with our uh, Cresselia. We do, get the, we do get the debuff. That is huge. Because now, um, not only do they have no shields, but they have to go for these uh, big charge moves. They actually end up debuffing themselves. 
So we don't have to shield the second one because not only did our first Moon Blast debuff them, but then they debuffed themselves with the um, superpower. And then so here we're in a situation where we just one shield and farm down this Registeel and just hope that we have enough energy to throw at this Chestnut. This Chestnut has to tank this Body Slam. Doesn't quite KO, but luckily for us, we are able to get to another Body Slam. So that farm down by, by us on the Registeel ended up coming in clutch right there. So did you to our opponent right there. Let us know about this team. Are you going to be able to make it? And let us know if you enjoyed the video.